motion sequencing can create some major changes in any basic pattern, giving you some spice that you just can't get anywhere else. Through motion sequencing, you are able to record adjustments made to the powerful step programmable parameters in real time as your Volca sample records a pattern. Let me show you this in action. I'll hold down the function button and press step button 12 so that the LED is illuminated. If you notice that things go crazy when you do this and you don't know why, try clearing the current motion sequence by holding the function button and pressing button 13 to clear the existing motion sequence and start fresh. Though you should note that this is also an undo shortcut. If I hold the function button and press clear again, notice that the original motion sequence comes back. Clearing and coming back can be really cool in a live performance to help you shift up the feel fast. Now, with the pattern cleared, I'll go ahead and start tweaking some knobs. Remember, you have to either trigger parts on the step buttons or use the part buttons to move between different parts. But each part can have its own individual set of tweaks. So don't forget to move back through those parts after you've built a pattern to add in some motion sequences individually part to part. In the next three tutorials, we're going to go over each set of parameters as they exist within the larger Step Programmable Parameters section.